So this year's theme was work and play, technology that improves our daily lives, and the plan was to bring in a lot of different technologies that show how innovative we are when we work and how we can kick back and have a little fun. This year we had 26 pieces, 20 of them were juried and 6 were curated. So if a piece was juried, it would go through the jury process where the contributor would submit an application and their project. We would sit down in a room with experts and we would decide the best of the best. And we had 120 juried pieces come in and we only chose 20. This year we also have six curated pieces that come from all different industries. We had the skull, which when you first come into the exhibition hall, you'll actually see this massive 3D projected skull. We have Ford's virtual vehicle environment. We have Christie's digital sandbox. We also have a pick from the Laval Conference, the DC Expo, and Panoramical, which is a game. This year we tried to categorize the submissions in the five different areas. We have display technology, experiential, virtual reality, wearable, and mobile. So as you're walking around the space, if you look down on the floor, you'll actually see where you are, and it kind of helps attendees kind of figure out what they're looking at and give them kind of a frame of reference to really figure out that this is a really cool installation that I have to see. This year we spanned a large variety of different uh, industries. We actually have 10 pieces that are display pieces, so it's probably our biggest section, but we have a little bit of everything. Um, we've also brought in a couple industries that are not typically shown at SIGGRAPH. When you come to Emerging Technologies, you get a personal experience because you're getting hands-on experience and you're understanding how it works because you're actually doing it. So I think it's really important that you come and actually try it instead of seeing it on a video. Pretty much everyone, I think, should come and see all of them, but I think uh, making small spaces large is going to be a very popular one. They're also in the real-time live competition, and as well as the auto multiscopic projector array, um, that one where you get to interact with holographic humans. So I think that one's going to kind of catch the eye of some people too. A lot of times we're separated by large distances, so we need to be able to collaborate with a lot of people at a lot of, t at a lot of different times, and I think virtual reality is going to be the way that we do that. Um, where I currently work right now, we do a lot of uh, pre-visualization in a virtual environment because it's actually a lot cheaper to pre-visualize instead of actually building it. So I think VR is going to be what kind of really changes the way we work and play.